isn't she so pretty oh my god hi everyone welcome back to my channel so here we are we're all in quarantine i haven't been doing anything except playing animal crossing but that was going to happen regardless of a quarantine so it's been hard to film because i have a kid who is currently not going to school, of course. So I'm working around naps and favors, and that is just the case, that's how it is. Today's video is a feeding video. I know you guys love feeding videos, but this isn't just any feeding video. No, no, this is actually a Dubia roach feeding video. I don't really feed roaches much. I used to have a Dubia roach colony, but generally I just used it to feed my bearded dragon. But the Dubia dude on Instagram actually contacted me and asked if I would be interested in him sending me like 200 medium Dubia roaches. Roaches. Of course, I jumped at the opportunity because Dubia are actually a really good feeder. I know a lot of you actually ask me why I use crickets because you watch Exotic Slayer and he says that he doesn't because of parasites. It is true that crickets can carry parasites. However, it seems to be a lot more prevalent of an issue in his location. I'm not going to say that you shouldn't feed your tarantulas crickets or your animals crickets, but are they the healthiest and cleanest option? No, there are definitely other options. Dubia roaches are a great alternative to that. The only issue I've ever really had with them for tarantulas is that they really are good at burrowing and also sometimes when I feed a tarantula a dubia, the dubia just won't move and it takes forever. So it's really difficult for me to actually film those feedings. It's not that I don't really feed them dubia, it's that I, I just don't generally film it. But he was kind enough to not only send me these roaches, but he also gave a code for a percentage off of your order. So to get 10% off of your order from him, you just type in the code CAT and he just mails it right to you. It's super easy. He's eco-friendly and I really enjoyed having him send me these roaches. It was a really good experience and he's super nice. He's been really nice and patient. So thank you so much. Definitely check him out. I will link his Instagram down below and his website down below. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Hope you enjoy. All right, so these are all the tarantulas that we are going to try to feed today. As you see, I've mostly grabbed smaller tarantulas. I'd say like larger slings and some juvies. I just thought they would be the best for the medium sized roaches. Here is where I am currently housing the roaches, about 200 dubia roaches, and I've actually fed some off already to various other animals, and some of my tarantulas have tried them as well. They are just looking good, and there's a lot in there. What I really like about dubia roaches is that they're so much easier to keep alive than crickets, especially for long periods of time. In the event of being quarantined, these are some of the best feeders to have on hand. All right, so I don't normally feed my smaller tarantulas on camera much because they're just a little bit more difficult to film, but I thought let's go ahead and try today because these dubia roaches will be really nice big meals for the tarantulas in this size range. If you guys remember, this is my youthless species parda and it's a really docile species, but it does usually have a pretty good takedown. So let's go ahead and put that to the test and see. There we go. Pretty gentle takedown, but this species is so chill. Let's go with something a little bit more, I don't know, crazy. This in here is my NNC, and although you probably don't see it right now, there's its bum. This one generally has a pretty decent takedown. Right back there, it's got its feet on the roach. So see, one of the downfalls of dubia roaches is sometimes they just kind of play dead and it can take a while. Yeah, I think she took it. Okay, so now let's do my Grimmastola Aestion, my Grimmastola Iherengi who is right there, and my Gramistola Grossa. We'll do that after these two. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a big roach. Hmm. It's so hard to see. Let's start with this one. <laughs> you want it? Oh my gosh, it's attacking me. Here's the Aestion. Once they realize it's food, they take it. I guess I didn't catch that on camera, but the Iherini took it. Hmm, let's see about this Grossa. Hi. Oh, 
Did you take it or are you thinking about taking it? Just not sure what to do with them. There we go. Finally, we figured it out. It's amazing these things survive in the wild sometimes, honestly. And not only do they survive in the wild, they like do it well. Like they were here before us and they'll probably be here long after us. Wild. Ooh, let's do another Gramostola. Here's my Gramostola Porteri sling. Another confused tarantula. What are we eating? Alpha predator right there. Let's see what these albopelosums are up to. I haven't looked at them for a while. These are both the sack mates. These are my Brachypelma albopelosum slings. This one I think is in pre-molt, so we're going to uh, set this one aside. But this one is out and looks hungry. So uh, let's go ahead and try and feed it. We'll do a bigger one too. Oh, took it really well. Okay, good. So this is my Brachypelma shorteri right on down in that corner. This is another one that's hard to get on camera eating, but it actually has a really big appetite. So, I mean, I guess let's just try feeding right on there. Nope, not me, not me. Flip. Yes, okay. Did you get it? Nope, not yet. Let's try another. Oh, it got it. I think. Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> if we get to actually see this one eat on camera, that would be great. This is my D. diamantinensis and uh, literally can't really remove the lid, unfortunately. But let me go ahead and get a better shot because I think I could manage that. So this is a really beautiful one, my D. diamantinensis, the Blue Dwarf Beauty. And I believe this is a female, so I can't remove the lid all the way because it's webbed up, but I can try feeding her and hopefully she'll eat. All right, so we'll just drop it in. I need a paintbrush. Ah! <laughs> no, not me. Closing for business. If the dubia would just move. All right, we'll set you aside and hopefully she'll notice that. In the meantime, I do have my homeoma species blue. This is one of my favorite species and I don't really show it much because honestly, it's, I don't know, it's a sling. I don't really show my slings very often. Oh, dubia on the loose. Okay, but yeah, let's. Go ahead and try. Ah! <laughs> it has a dubia in its mouth and is hanging on to my brush. Feisty little one. Oh, the Blue Dwarf Beauty just grabbed it. Okay, good. So she got it. And then here's the Homeoma species blue. It has one dubia in its mouth right there. And then it has another playing dead behind it that I'm sure it will more than appreciate later on. All right, so let's go ahead and try to feed my H. pulcher peas because usually we'll eat. Ooh, super orange. Look at that beautiful coloring. There we go. Thank you for eating in this video. I really appreciate that. Okay, so that's great that we actually got one that's going to eat for us. My Panthropedia species Mascala. Huge appetite, but pretty shy. There, oh. All right, all right, all right. I'm not poking the Dubio roaches with paintbrushes because it just stresses me out. Let's do this S. Rebranitans though. Very nice and simple here. You can have two. Oh, I said, I said I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> It'll find it. All right, so this is my eye hirsutum and I have a feeling that we are just not really going to eat, but wanted to offer it anyway. So I can't really feed these on camera. It's just not, super easy, like there's the, it's just not my favorite thing to do. I can try a little bit more with this one because I, I'm pretty sure she'll eat. It's my Caribbean Versi color. And I'll just. Cool, so she actually took that on camera. Not an easy shot to get, so I hope you guys can appreciate that. It's hard to get her. 
on camera. All right, so I actually have one more with me to feed and it is somebody I know will eat no matter what I give it. There's one. There's two. <laughs> Thank you for saving the video. A canvas scary geniculata. Great appetite. All right, so we just fed all of them. My Rubrana tends is over here dancing a little bit and there's still the other roach that she has yet to notice. But yeah, that is all of the tarantulas that I brought out to feed today. We have a happy dance over here too from the Brachypoma shidori. D. diamantinensis over there eating. Got some Gramistola. So yeah. There we go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you did. Don't forget to go check out the Dubia Dudes website. It's linked down below with code CAT. You get 10% off. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I'm in the screen that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, which is linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Stay safe.